The objective is to divide two and three digit dividends by multiples of 10 with single digit quotients. Let's start by looking at this problem. What's the divisor? Right, it's 30. We need to think of multiples of 30 to make the division easy. How can we estimate the quotient, or the whole, or what we're dividing? Our estimate, let's count by 30s, 30, 60, 90, 120. Our estimate, the closest is going to be 90, 90 divided by 30. We should be thinking of our basic fact of 9 divided by 3. 90 divided by 30 is 3. We can use this estimate to help us solve the problem and to check it. Here I'm going to solve with the standard algorithm, 100 divided by 30. Remember, the whole, or what we're dividing, goes on the inside, and our divisor goes on the outside. 30 goes into 100 three whole times because 3 times 30 is 90. 100 minus 90 is 10. So our remainder is 10. 100 divided by 30, the answer is 3 with a remainder of 10. Remember that 10 is left over. That's the remainder when we try to divide 100 by 30. It goes in three whole times with that leftover of 10. Is 10 enough to make another group of 30? No, it's not. The other thing that we need to do is that we need to run a check. We'll use the inverse operation to go ahead and check our answer of 100 divided by 30 equaling 3 with a remainder of 10. The inverse operation of division is multiplication. We'll take our answer, which was 3, and we'll multiply it by that divisor of 30. 3 times 30 is 90. Now 90, we still have to add back in the remainder of 10 and 90 plus 10 does equal 100, which matches with our original quotient. So our check is valid. Here we have another problem. What's our whole? Right, it's 470. And our divisor is 70. Let's start with our estimate, 470 divided by 70. Think about multiples of 7. We have 7 times 6 equaling 42. 7 times 7 equaling 49. Yep, that's the closest. 49 is close to 470. So that's 490 divided by 70. And working that out, 490 divided by 70 49 divided by 7 is 7. <clears throat> and then it would be divided by 10 as well. And that's why it is that you get 7 there. We can use this estimate to help us with our solution and our solving of this using a standard algorithm. Remember, it's 470 divided by 70, so that is here divided by 70. It looks like we went up from the 470 to the 490. That means that this 7 would actually be too high of an estimate. So I can't just choose 7 there because then it would be um, 470 minus 490 and that would be too much. So we'll use 6 instead. Notice the 6 goes right over the 1's place there, over that 0. And then we have 6 times 70 equaling 420. 470 minus 420 is 50. So our remainder is 50. 
50, that remainder is not enough to have another group of 70. Now our check to make sure that we have the correct answer. We use 6. We multiply it by the divisor, which was 70. And then 6 times 7 is 42, and we're talking about 42 tens, which is worth 420. And then we would add back in the remainder that we had of 50. And that should equal our original dividend or whole that we had, which it does. So our solution is valid. Here we have 580 divided by 80. We'll use the standard algorithm. Without the check this time, 80 cannot go into 5, 80 cannot go into 58, however 80 can go into 580. 80 goes into 580 how many whole times? So we should be thinking about this 8 here and this 58 here. And think about some facts. Now, if we had just chosen 5 times 80, that would be 400. 6 times 80 is 480. 7 times 80 is 560. And 8 times 80 is 640. So we know that this goes in 7 whole times. Notice again, we're putting it into the 1's place there. 7 times 80, we already have that over here as 560. 580 minus 560 is 20. And 20 is our remainder. It cannot be divis divided anymore by that divisor of 80. Now for our check, we take 7, we multiply it by 80. We get 560, and we remember to add back in that <coughs> um, remainder there, and that's 580. It's time for you to try. Use the standard algorithm and check. Did you set up the problem correctly? 20 goes into 82 four whole times. 4 times 20 is 80. 82 minus 80 is 2. So our remainder is 2. For our check, we would take 4, multiply it by 20. 4 times 2 is 8, and we're talking about 8 ten, so that is 80, plus 2, which is 82, where it matches. So it checks. Here's another one for you. We have 413 divided by 60. Again, use the standard algorithm and check it. Goes into 413 how many whole times? 60 cannot go into 4, cannot go into 41, but does go into 413. That would be 6 whole times, because 6 times 60 is 360. If we had chosen 7, it would be 420, and that would be too much. If I do that subtraction correctly, I get 53, and 53 is our remainder. It can't make another group of 60. For our check, we multiply 6 by that divisor, which was 60, and 6 times 60 is 360, and remember to add back in that remainder of 53. And that does match, so it checks. Let's take a look at one last problem, 253 divided by 40. Remember our divisor is 40, and that's what we are dividing by. When we set this up using the standard algorithm, we put the holes, or the dividend, on the inside there, and it goes on the outside over here. 40 cannot go into 2, 40 cannot go into 25, the tens. However, we can divide the 253 ones by the 40. That's why it is that we can go ahead and place a 6 here, because 6 times 40 is 240. want to make sure that we don't go over, 
and we're using a basic fact to help us. We subtract that, we get 13. We know that 13 there is, can't make another group of 40. In other words, we have chosen correctly. So our remainder is 13. Now to be absolutely positive that we chose correctly, we run the check, where we take the answer, which was 6, and we multiply it by that divisor, which was 40, and 6 times 40 is 240. We add that back together to get 253. And that needs to match our holes that we were dividing, so that that is a valid answer. 253 divided by 40 is 6 with the remainder of 13.